Hello and welcome to yet another edition of the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com, with me as your host, Chris, yay, new stuff, McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Joining me today to talk about the news that Hasbro are accepting applications for their Hong Kong division to manufacture G.I. Joe toys, along with other action brands, is Justin Bootleg Bell. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. Earlier today, His Tank reported that Hasbro were accepting applications for their Hong Kong division to manufacture toys in a number of brands, including G.I. Joe. Two 12-month contract vacancies have been posted, one for a product engineer and another for an associate project manager for a number of Hasbro's action brands. The descriptions for the positions read, Project engineer develop medium to high complexity toys from mechanical items to electronic featured figures. Associate project manager, assistant manager project management to manage resources and identify, monitor and mitigate risks and to ensure projects are executed and completed on time, within budget and within scope. The action brands listed include Hasbro's partner brands Star Wars and Marvel and of course their in-house brands Transformers, Power Rangers, Beyblade, Zoids and of course G.I. Joe. This is a very positive piece of news and suggests that we will be getting official Joe product for the first time since the 50th anniversary and will no doubt tie into the upcoming Snake Eyes movie due to drop in October of 2020. Justin, this all but confirms that we will be getting Joe product of some sort again, which was sort of expected with the film around the corner, but how does it feel knowing Hasbro are back on with Joe again? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. And I, I feel really good about the fact that they're going to have somebody on staff that ensures projects are executed and completed on time within budget and within scope. <laughs> Do you see that happening? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, on all accounts. Unless they no, hire but... a wizard or a... <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, yeah, it is, it's uh, it's good. I mean, I think we all sort of expected it, but um, you know, seeing it kind of in writing and and uh, more official like certainly you know adds some credence to the fact that, well, of course, I mean, they're making a GI Joe movie, and Hasbro's specialty when it comes to that sort of stuff is toys. So of course they're going to make toys for it. But it's great to kind of see it all happening, you know, live and in person, so to speak. Yeah. One thing I noticed on this was the fact that they're only 12 month contract, so it's not necessarily. Mm-hmm a long-term kind of job here we're looking at so are we are we thinking that obviously the development aspect has already taken place so now we're looking at the manufacture aspect you don't need two years of manufacture do you You need like one year of manufacture and obviously the development is another year of that so in in total you're looking at around about two years of concept through to production aren't you yeah i would think i mean these certainly sound like more engineering you know an engineer is more like you said the manufacturing and and things like that i would think um i mean i don't i obviously don't have really deep insight into the world of you know toy production but that certainly seems more like actually constructing the items where you would have to think the the design and concept work has been done already yeah and um they're just looking for some kind of fill-in help to to get the stuff actually made and produced is this one of those things where in the past they've given longer contracts are you aware of that at all because it, it feels to me like they they are doing it specifically just for you know this one particular run of 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 things of, of you know and it's, it's not just mm-hmm. Joe. it's a number of different brands right they're going to be managing so this stuff is all going to be coming out roughly around the same time by the looks of things and it, it does bear it i'm not sure if i'm not sure if i should be worried that we're looking at so short term or if that's just hasbro's kind of tack it's it's hard to say isn't it yeah, and I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, there could be a couple of different things at play. I mean, number one, you know, 12 months might just be a boilerplate and it's just what they do. And with the idea yeah. that they'll renew it after 12 months, it's just kind of a standard contract term. Another thing is they may have in-house people working on this stuff already. They're just looking for additional resources mm. to kind of supplement what they're already doing in-house. You know, maybe they can't handle quite all of the work that needs to be done. So they're bringing in some temp temp work that'll help out for the next year. But just because, you know, their contract ends doesn't mean the work stops. True. Um, so they may just be, you know, for, for the kind of big ramp up, they may need additional staff just for that big ramp up. And then once that is finished, then they can kind of let them let them go. And, and that may be all, all that's going on. Because I know in the past, they've often hired freelancers to kind of come and supplement um, work mm. that in-house folks are already doing and kind of help help them along without you know really um, thinking about handling all production via yeah. contract work. So. Yeah, 
No, that's a good point, actually. Very good point. I hadn't even thought about that. The terms used in the applications give us some idea of what to expect across a number of the brands. Uh, it says medium to high complexity toys from mechanical items to electronic featured figures, uh, for example, obviously. But 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 how much of that do you expect to see in the Joe product? I'm hoping, you know, we'll see quite a bit of that. I mean, I'd love to see some kind of a multifaceted line, even if I'm not, you know, too into the electronic featured products that would tell me that there are at least investing in, in some sort of product to appeal to a bunch of different audiences. And you have to hope that at least one of these products is some kind of highly articulated, mm. preferably four inch figure. Um, but you know, it's, it's a tough call. I mean, the four inch figures at retail are more or less fading away. So, yeah. um, you know, that, that does bring up all sorts of questions, but yeah, I would imagine, you know, if they're really expecting snake eyes to kind of hit hard, you know, I, I I'm trying to think of just how much product, bumblebee had i don't know if Not there was much. a whole lot of project yeah there wasn't a lot of product that was specifically geared towards bumblebee although there was some bumblebee product kind of wrapped into other transformers yeah, lines yeah um so i would expect you know maybe something similar for g i mean if they're not gonna if they're not gonna like kind of lambaste the shelves with with bumblebee product for a transformers film i can't imagine they're gonna do yeah. that for gi joe but i think there will be some product and it'll i would hope it'll touch on a few of the different elements they talk about here i should also kind of highlight the fact that zoids is included in this and obviously that oh, would yeah. lend That's itself cool. obviously to yeah. the mechanical, uh, mechanical and... aspect yeah totally and the complex aspect the yeah. mechanical the electronic features yeah all that kind of stuff yeah so do you expect some you did mention earlier on but do you expect some focus on collectors with maybe four inch figures and a possible vintage homage i do yeah i think they have to do that to a degree you know i mean there there is certainly that there's still a generation out there that loves G.I. Joe, and they, I don't think they'd be making these movies if they didn't want to appeal to that generation to a degree. So I think they have to do something focused on collectors. Whether or not it's four-inch figures, I think, is up for debate. I mean, mm. the, uh, they, they are doing those Star Wars kind of vintage homage four-inch figures still. But beyond that, like I said, a lot of the four-inch figures are more, more or less you know, out of retail space. So uh, it really kind of remains to be seen how Hasbro handles this Snake Eyes product release, whether or not they stick to kind of six-inch yeah, collector's say, themes figured yeah. figures, or if they do. I would think that because G.I. Joe was so synonymous with 4-inch, that they would at least do some of those. Um, and I would expect they still have, you know, a decent amount of tooling to work with to kind of build <laughs> off of. Just a touch, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I would think that that would still be an option for them. Um, you know, unlike something like Star Wars, which it's tough to do in that modern era format where you have a figure buck and then kind of do additional secondaries on top of it to mimic other looks, you know, you can't, yeah. it's tough to do that for star Wars. So you kind of have to have dedicated to, you know, newly tooled figures, which might prevent them from doing some of those four inch lines, but GI Joe isn't you know, not necessarily quite that way. So perhaps they can use that to their advantage and get us a four inch line. I'm going to kind of say it right here. I'll be very surprised if we don't get six inch action figures at retail Same, aligned yeah. with snake eyes film. I think that would make a lot of sense. I mean, it, it seems to be the talk of the town, doesn't it? It, it just seems to be like this beast will not go away. And it's, right. it's interesting because we've had, I, I suppose like dead ends in certain situations where we've heard of, of, of possibilities in the six inch arena mm -hmm. and it's kind of come to nothing. But I think right. a lot of it has to do with timing and and, and the media attached to it. I mean, they're not just going to bring exactly. out a six inch GI Joe figure for no apparent reason. So it makes a lot right. of sense that the, the Snake Eyes movie is starting to get a bit of fire under it because, you know, they obviously want to get the product out to go with it too. So yeah. th th this is all one... I mean, it's when... The thing with Hasbro and Paramount is they're not... It's not... This is one of those kind of... It's all. It's easy for us to kind of go, yeah, just get the movie out and get some action figures there. But, I mean, to, <laughs> to line up all those ducks in a row is mentally exactly. hard, isn't it? So, yeah, I totally understand that we haven't seen anything of that six-inch variety yet, but I do agree with you. I think we're going to see something in the six inch variety yeah i absolutely. do i also think we'll see something in the four inch variety i'm not i don't think it's yeah. going to be a massive loadout of of product but i do expect two scales and maybe some kids stuff and that that could include that uh really cheap kind of 12 inch stuff that they seem to do a lot of yeah but any in any case um yeah i mean i'm i'm very excited for this and again it's yeah, really definitely. just i think it's just the case like you said before it's just hearing the confirmation of oh look they're clearly doing something and gi joe is in the conversation yep. there i mean exactly. it's it, they haven't come out and said hey here are the toys for what we're doing for gi joe but it's the 
it's the fact that the, the G.I. Joe title is in that conversation. Yeah, it's a very cool thing to see. Awesome. Well, anyway, Justin, thank you for jumping on and chatting with me. Uh, again, sure. massively short notice. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drag him out of the bath, people. No, I didn't at all. Yeah. He's at work. Um, I'm sitting in my towel right now. Uh, we're going to need pics or it didn't happen. In any, <laughs> in any case, that's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co host, Justin Bell. See you next time. And as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing, and commenting on these videos. And as always, you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. And if you would like to contact the show, you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page, so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force